Stop using Sora 2 and VEO 3. Grok just released something that makes both of them look outdated. And the crazy part is, it's completely free. Most people have no clue this feature even exists, but once you see what Grok can do, you'll understand why creators are dropping everything and switching over right now. Because what you're about to see should not be possible for a free tool. Grok can generate full-length YouTube videos, yes, full videos, with shockingly consistent 3B animation. Imagine taking a simple text story and watching it explode into a full cinematic world, every scene connected, every transition seamless, every frame looking like it was handcrafted. While other tools struggle just to match styles, Grok slices through entire storylines like it was built for filmmaking. And here's the wild part. It wasn't. This workflow unlocks a secret power nobody is talking about. People are spending hours fighting with scene continuity. Meanwhile, Grok nails it with one trick that almost no one knows yet. Creators are already using this to pump out animated stories, documentaries, faceless channels, and full AI films, all without paying a single cent. No limits, no credits, just unlimited long-form generation. If you want to scale AI content, this is the moment. This is the turning point. Watch closely because the part that makes Grok unstoppable is coming up. And if this blows your mind even a little, smash that like button, subscribe right now, and share this with someone who needs to see it before everyone else catches on. Then stay till the end and grab every prompt I used completely free. Welcome. The very first step is to generate our 3D story using ChatGPT. I have a specific prompt prepared for this, which I'll copy now. Don't worry, I'll leave all the prompts I use in the description or comment section for you to follow along. I'm pasting the first prompt into ChatGPT, and now I'll hit send. This will start generating the foundation of our story. Great, the story is complete. Next, I need to generate the individual scene prompts. I have a second prompt ready for this, which is this one here. I'll copy it, head back to our chat, and paste it in. Let's hit send again. Perfect. Now we have two key components, the full story, which we'll use for our voiceover, and these detailed scene-by-scene -scene prompts, which we'll use to generate our visuals. With these ready, let's open a new tab and navigate to grok.com. Once on the Grok homepage, there's one important setting to check before we begin. Click on the menu, go to Settings, and then select Behavior. Here, you need to make sure the toggle for Enable Auto Video Generation is turned off. We don't want this feature for this specific workflow. With that setting confirmed, let's go back and click on Imagine. You can see many examples here, but we're focused on creating our own long-form video today. So I'll return to our ChatGPT tab and copy our very first scene description, Scene 1. Now, back in Grok, I'll paste this into the prompt box. Before we generate, let's set our parameters. We're going to generate an image first. Most importantly, let's set the aspect ratio. You have several options, but for this project, we want the 16 to 9 cinematic aspect ratio for YouTube. With the prompt and aspect ratio set, I'll hit Send. The image is now generating. And here's what it gave us. This is a great 3D animation style. Grok will often provide multiple options, so you can scroll through and find the one you feel is most appropriate for your story. I'll go through these. I think this one here looks perfect. Now that we have our starting image, we need to animate it. This will be our scene one. The process is simple. Paste the exact same prompt we used to generate the image back into the prompt box, but this time, instead of generating an image, we will click the Make a Video button to animate it. Let's do that now. As you can see, Grok is now turning that static image into a video clip. Let's wait for it to finish. 
And there we go. Our first video is done. The next step is to save it. I'll just download it directly to my device. This next step is the most critical part of the process for creating a continuous video. We need to get the very last frame of the video we just downloaded. If you're on a computer, you can right-click and save the frame. Since I'm on a tablet, I'll open the video in my gallery, pause on the final frame, and take a screenshot. As you can see, I'm screenshotting it, and now it's saved. Now, back in Grok, I will upload that screenshot we just took. Here it is. With our end frame now acting as the starting frame, I'll go back to ChatGPT and copy the prompt for scene two. I'll paste this new prompt into Grok and, just like before, click on Make a Video. And there you have it. Scene two is complete. Now we just repeat the process. One, I'll get the last frame of this new video. Two, I've saved the end frame for scene two. Three, I'll come back to Grok and upload it. Here it is. Four, with the new frame uploaded, I'll return to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for our third scene, Paste it in and click Make a Video once more. All right, scene three is now ready. You've seen the complete workflow. Generate a clip, save the last frame, upload that frame, and use the next scene's prompt to generate the next clip. I'm going to go ahead and generate the rest of our scenes behind the scenes using this exact method. When I'm done, we'll move on to the voiceover and final editing. Okay, I'm back and I have finished generating all the video clips for our story. The next major step is to create the voiceover. For this, I'm going to use a tool called Minimax.io. You could also use Eleven Labs or other text-to-speech tools, but for this tutorial, we'll use Minimax. I've opened a new tab and navigated to the website. Now, I'll return to ChatGPT, and this time I'm copying the full story, not the scene prompts. I'll select it all, from the beginning down to the end, and copy it. Back in Minimax, I'll paste the entire story into the text field. Now, we need to find a fitting voice. You can preview different options. I think this one, Graceful Lady, sounds perfect for our story. I'm also going to select the Speech 2.6 HD model for the best quality. With the text and voice selected, I'll hit Generate. And just like that, our voiceover is finished. I'll simply go ahead and download the audio file. We now have all our assets, our series of video clips, and our complete audio voiceover. It's time to stitch them all together. We'll be doing our final editing in CapCut. You can use any editor you're comfortable with, like PowerDirector or InShot, but CapCut is perfect for this. Let's open it up. Inside CapCut, I'm creating a new project and importing all the video clips we generated. I'll make sure to add them in the correct order, starting from scene one and all the way to the end. You may want to trim the clip slightly to make the transition smoother, but the next main step is adding our audio. I'll tap on Audio, then Sounds, and select From Device to find the voiceover file we downloaded. Here it is. I'll add it to the timeline. Let's preview that. On the edge of a quiet seaside town lives Ripple, a tiny, bright-eyed hermit crab who collects discarded beach treasures, buttons, bottle caps, and bits of colorful sea glass. Ripple dreams of building the perfect shell, something sturdy and beautiful enough to make him feel confident among the bigger crabs who tease him for his mismatched, patched together home. One morning, after a storm washes new- That looks and sounds great. 
To make the cut between clips even smoother, you can add transitions. I'll select the transition point here. I personally like to use the mix transition to blend the scenes. Finally, to give the whole video a consistent and polished look, let's adjust the colors. I like to apply an adjustment layer or filter to the entire project. First, I'll go to Adjust and first try the Auto Adjust feature. Hmm, that looks good. I'll just reduce the intensity slightly. Then I'll go to Filters and apply the 4K filter, setting its intensity to around 5. I'll make sure to drag this adjustment layer to cover the entire video. And there we have it. Everything looks and sounds just right. The last step is simply to export the final video. By the way, I have more in-depth tutorials on video editing on my channel, so be sure to check those out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. On the edge of a quiet seaside town lives Ripple, a tiny, bright-eyed hermit crab who collects discarded beach treasures, buttons, bottle caps, and bits of colorful sea glass. Ripple dreams of building the perfect shell, something sturdy and beautiful enough to make him feel confident among the bigger crabs who tease him for his mismatched, patched-together home. One morning, after a storm washes new debris,